When it comes to health and wellness, many things play a role, not just in how well we look or feel, but actually how long we live. So today we're gonna to be talking about five things to help you cultivate wellness, what I like to call five steps to well-being. Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm excited to talk about these five things that can help you cultivate wellness, well-beingness, and they're evidence-backed steps that can actually help you in many areas. Not just things about how well your skin looks or how much you weigh, but your overall well-beingness, which is gonna show up in your energy levels, helping you to look fabulous and be more positive and get the best things out of life. One of the first ways to improve our well-beingness is to take a look at our relationships, the people that we have around us and how we interact with them. Connecting with people, good relationships, all can make a huge difference in not only how healthy we are, but how long we actually live. These types of relationships help us build a sense of self-worth and belonging and can be surprisingly easy to accomplish. Things like taking out more time every day to spend with your family and your friends. One of the things that a lot of people have gotten away from doing that can be helpful in this area is to have a fixed time for dinner, a sit down dinner, no television, no social media, just good conversation over good food. Also visiting friends and family members that might need a little bit of help, encouragement, or just conversation. And another sure way to help accomplish this is to find ways to volunteer and help out in your community. It builds again, a sense of self-esteem and self-worth. And one of my favorite things to do is help out with local animal shelters here in our area. Providing assistance where needed by volunteering really gives you a sense of empowerment and that you're making a big difference not only in your life but in the lives of others. Anyway, the second way to improve your well-beingness is to take a look at your level of physical activity. Now I talk a lot about physical activity on my other videos but it is so important not just to your overall health although daily physical activity for as little as 20 minutes does improve your muscle strength it improves your mobility your mental clarity and recent studies like the health god study have shown that people who lead sedentary lifestyles, when they apply this 20 minutes per day of physical activity, and that could be walking, that could be playing with your dog, that could be tennis, that could be swimming, not necessary to run a marathon, but participants in that study saw a three year reversal in their biological markers, their aging markers in just eight weeks. So a little bit of physical activity makes a big difference. And then as you start to feel better, you'll be motivated to do more. Third on the list of things you can do to help improve your well beingness is to learn new things, new language, new skill sets. I'm a big believer in stretching out that brain power and making yourself learn things that are outside the norm or even your sphere of comfort. We know from studies that by doing so, we create new neural pathways, which again leads to better mental and emotional health because those new neural pathways allow our bodies and our minds new ways of functioning at optimal levels. One of the easiest way to do this is get involved in DIY projects. I do it all the time and sometimes I'm really good at it and sometimes I'm not, but it is that stretch beyond what I normally know how to do that really is invigorating and I get a real sense of accomplishment whenever I get a project up and off the ground and successfully launched. So think about trying some new hobbies like writing or painting or even a new sport like swimming or tennis or some Something that might be really useful to you and others in your own personal life, all of these things can really help give you a sense of fulfillment, elevating your mood and your health every day. And number four on the list is giving back to others. Much in how I talked about volunteering can really lead to a sense of self-esteem, self-worth and value. All of these types of acts of kindness and giving really improve your sense of self-worth, help you make connections with new people, even new friends, and that could be really life altering for a lot of us that are feeling stuck in our lives are in our daily routines. And then number five on the list is to practice being in the moment, mindfulness. Realizing that the power of your life is never in the past or in the future, it is always in the now because it is the now from which we make all our choices and decisions. Paying more attention to the present moment gives you a sense of empowerment over your own life, emotions, and the decisions that you make on a day-to-day -day basis. And a type of this practice that I have found most useful for myself is taking 15 to 20 minutes every day and meditating and just shutting everything off, going within and quieting the mind, allowing everything to have a sort of reset. Many, many times when I come out of meditation, I feel invigorated, rested, and I am full of brand new ideas. This type of meditation where you're not focused on things you're trying to fix, but just simply turning everything off and giving your body, your mind, and your spirit a breather can really do some amazing things for your mood and your level of creativity. 
I highly recommend you give it a shot. And as science has proven, add many more years to the length of your life. And for even more ways to roll back aging on skin and body, be sure to check out this video that's coming up next. Thank you guys for watching and supporting my channel. I appreciate you. Stay beautiful. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you over on that next video.